we're, we're going to change it up a little bit. What's your spirit vegetable? I'm going to get dressed, get this day started, and then talk a little bit about why I started this vlog. All right, I just finished some work, and now I am headed to the Hustle's office to do a little video for their Hustle vlog. The Hustle is a daily newsletter. If you don't already read it, check it out, thehustle.co. Go check out their office. Aaron. Nice to meet you. This is our kitchen. Awesome. That's all I got, dude. Alright, we're done here at the hustle. Hopefully I didn't butcher it too bad. How'd I do? You were great, man. I'm excited to edit it. Awesome. Alright, just leaving the hustle. It's a daily newsletter and it's just about current events, kind of what's happening in tech. Really cool voice, the, the HustleCon's a really cool event as well. I'll have a link in the bio so you can sign up for that. I'm walking home through Golden Gate Park and it's just gorgeous. Today is a perfect day. Overall, this place is just always amazing to me. talk a little bit about why did I start this vlog. Reason number one, a big part of my business is to make videos. And so doing the vlog is just another way for me to create more content, experiment with the shots. I mean, the drone's been a fun little toy. And then uh, just experiment with editing. I get so many better uh, song samples and just different styles and inspiration. So when I work on client stuff, it goes much faster and it's much more effective. This hill is intense. It's one of those hills where everything looks crooked. Reason number two piggybacks off of number one. It's a challenge. I mean, it's awkward one to talk into a camera, especially as a grown ass man. And then two, coming up with something that's not completely boring, or at least try not to come up with something that's completely boring uh, multiple times uh, a week. Number three, this is just documenting life. So part of this journey is gonna just be cool to look at years down the line now. It doesn't get too personal. I'm still able to show some cool stuff, you know, Especially when you're in the startup world and the digital world stuff's happening fast, so it's gonna be fun to look back at these. Number four, there are business objectives. Now, if I do not suck at this and it does grow over time, then you're able to actually build an audience and then turn it into somewhat of a business. Now, just by me showing the type of work that I would like to do, so going kind of piggybacking off of number one again, I can just go ahead and create something that I want to create and then maybe it'll attract more business. It already has in a few instances. And number five, I just enjoy this. I mean, I don't enjoy talking to the camera. This is the worst part and part of it kind of gets me out of my comfort zone. But I love editing and looking back at the day, reflecting, being more conscientious. It gets me out of the house a lot more because uh, I'm like, oh, that'd be a cool shot. Whereas, oh, I just want to lay around and be lazy. It gets you out of the house, gets you active. 